Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be reacting to IGCSE Edexcel Maths Paper 2 and discussing the grey boundaries for it. If you didn't watch my video saying that June 2022 was identical to this year's Paper 1, I kind of feel sorry for you. Edexcel should frankly be embarrassed with how similar these two papers are. They couldn't even be bothered to mix it up a little bit and unfortunately I think it's just going to inflate the grey boundaries even more than they already have been in recent years. Let's uh, let's have a look at uh, 2022's paper. I can't show you 2024's paper because uh, it's locked. Although considering how lazy they are there's kind of no point because this is basically exactly the same. So this is 2022's paper. So this is pretty much exactly the same uh, as your question one, question two was exactly the same, question three, yeah, okay, your, yours was a multiply or, or a divide instead of a subtract for the fractions, uh, you just had a trapezium, you didn't have a rectangle and a trapezium, uh, you had trigonometry, you had a conversion, exactly the same question i actually can't believe how similar this question was even the format was the same a uh, couple of compound interest questions simultaneous equations quadratic solve the quadratic uh just standard uh calculations for mean then you had a cumulative frequency expanding triple brackets changing the subject Oh. Solving a algebraic uh, equation, quadratic inequality, Venn diagram. But I actually can't believe how similar these are. I'm looking at the paper right now. That they're they're identical. Bounds question. Even this question where you had to substitute it into the other one. It it was it's stupid. This is a stupid question anyway, by the way. Um, and then circles inside a square. You just had a circle inside a square, not four circles inside a square. Vectors was slightly different, but similar concept. Uh, you had some linear algebra, which is this, just coordinate geometry. And then you had um, similar to this, but you had a number in front of in front of a sign, I think, instead of cos. Um, and then you add this kind of equation as well. Uh, yours was root 80 and 30 out the front, I believe. Um, but it's, it's, it's exactly the same paper. Um, question by question, it's a joke. Um, they should be embarrassed themselves. Um, hopefully you saw it before you've done this practice paper before you went into the exam. If you didn't, hopefully it went well anyway. I'm just trying to find the grey boundaries I wrote. Here we go. Okay. Let's have a look at the grey boundaries. Well, you think the most relevant ones were June 2022, considering the two papers were identical. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be the same. So, I mean, we're looking at a 9 here. We're looking just just over well, 71% for a 9 in 2022. And uh, about 48%, no, 46% for a 7. And then to pass, uh, you needed basically nothing 12 percent 12 and a half percent um and they've been they've been inflating them year on year uh because the, i mean in 2022 we were still coming out of covid uh so i think they they were a bit more lenient with the gray boundaries in 2022 but they've been trying to push them up and up and up um year on year um if i'm being completely honest i th i think the grey boundaries uh, are are going to be are going to be high. They're going to be high. Um, I think this is going to be similar, about thirty. I think this is going to be about forty-five. I think this is going to be about sixty. I think this is going to be about eighty. Eighty-two. I think for a seven, I think you're going to need north of a north of a hundred. I really do. I think this is going to be one, three, two for an eight. And I think a nine is going to be one, six, two. I think it's going to be one, six, two. I think it, 
I think it's is is they were very very nice papers and they were basically seen before. Um, let me know down below if you disagree, agree. Let me know what you think you got. Um, let me know if you saw my video and you 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 crammed twenty twenty two before you went in. Um, I will be back on results day to see how close I was. Um, normally I'm pretty good last year. You can go check out last year's video. Um, I think I was one or two marks out. Um, good luck with the rest of your exams. Good luck for results day. Remember your results don't define you. It's what you do with them. Yeah. Have a good day. Until next time. Bye.